is part two of the video here. This is just, uh, we're just putting the bolts in, doing the finishing touches. I got this handy little Ryobi. Works pretty well. You can use, uh, you can hand tighten it, whatever you got to do, but this is uh, okay. much easier for me. And, and Jesus here. It's in a kind of crisscross pattern. Just like you're doing a tire on a car. He's got this wrapped up. I'll do an overview real quick. There's uh this is just one circuit we did uh, that was leaking. There's two circuits on here, so you'll see there's two sets of filter dryers. In here, each each circuit has uh, looks like three compressors. This is a chiller. And here's our up here is our coils. I'll do a quick overview of the chiller here so this is the chiller here at high tech high in Chula Vista so let y'all know we're they're away on spring break so we're we're doing what we got to do here there's our data plate and this is uh, what the chiller looks like yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, and that's how you replace a filter dryer on a chiller, folks. Hit the like button if you like this video. We'd really appreciate uh, that or any comments below.